The Labor Department says higher food and gas costs helped boost U.S. wholesale prices half a percent in May, but inflation remains mild with prices of goods besides food and gas remaining steady. Gannett, the publisher of USA Today and several local newspapers, plans to expand its TV portfolio. It wants to buy Below, the Dallas-based TV company, for $1.5 billion in cash. The acquisition would make Gannett the fourth largest broadcast group in the nation. The deal needs the approval of the federal Communications Commission. Nicaragua has approved a $40 billion deal for a Chinese company to build and operate a shipping channel to compete with the Panama Canal. The route would link the Pacific Ocean with the Caribbean Sea. It would most likely cross Lake Nicaragua with the largest lake in Central America. It would also be about three times longer than the Panama Canal. Lawmakers who favor the plan say it would generate billions of dollars, but outside the National Assembly, anti-canal protesters marched and carried banners that read President Ortega is selling the country. And when it comes to parking in Boston, the sky is the limit or just about. Someone paid $560,000 in an auction for two spots in the heart of the city. That's your Money Watch. For more, stay with CBSMoneyWatch.com. In New York, I'm Ashley Morrison.